I am very pleased to be joined by Nathan Rourke. Thank you so much for joining us. How are you doing amidst all this craziness? I'm doing well. How are you guys doing? We are, we're doing well. We're, we're self-isolating here in Toronto. We're physical distancing and trying to, you know, enjoy spring at the same time. With COVID-19, I know you've also been taking interviews with CFL teams and you've been doing it over video call. What are those conversations like having to do it at a distance and, and over technology? Has it been bizarre? Has it been, has it been fun? Is it nerve wracking? What's it been like? No, I, I enjoy them quite a bit because a, a lot of times the, the teams are asking about football and we're talking football and I, I love that. And so that's cool. But I mean, it's with a, a good amount of the staff there and a lot of guys that are evaluating you. And a lot of times they know, you know, this is like this is not like, you know, some offbeat reporter. It's these are people who have done their dil due diligence and they know about you and they want to they kind of want to understand how you uh, how you process things and how you think on your feet. And uh, so there are some tough questions, uh, but they're just trying to get it to get to know me, uh, you know, the guy, you know, underneath the helmet, and uh, and then get a get a good good sense of what where my football IQ is and and uh, what I'm kind of thinking and stuff like that. So it's been it's been fun. I and I've enjoyed the process. You are a Canadian kid. For those that don't know you, you grew up in Canada, but you went down to play some of your high school ball down in Alabama. Uh, well, I did three years at Holy Trinity Catholic in Oakville. Ontario. Uh, after that year, uh, we decided to try to explore Division One opportunities and uh, or the best way of getting there and kind of an opportunity came out to go to Alabama at a small school at Edgewood Academy just outside Montgomery, Alabama. So did my senior year there, didn't have any offers, which was what we were hoping for. Ended up going uh, junior college route, um, going to Fort Scott in Kansas uh, and did a semester there because I was an academic qualifier and ended up going to Ohio. So I was at Ohio for three and a half years. What would it mean to you as a Canadian to be able to fill that position? Yeah, I know even now going in, hopefully into the professional league and, and seeing some of the Canadians that have been able to have success in the NFL, the Canadians that have, have success in the CFL, it's been really cool to kind of watch them and be inspired by their story. And I know that um, quarterback is a, is a position that hasn't always been represented by Canadians. And so to be able to play in a Canadian league uh, as a Canadian quarterback in one of the more important or more recognizable uh, positions would be would be really cool. And just be able to be able to inspire the kids like myself who grew up uh, just appreciating the game so much. And that would mean a lot to me. I'm a guy who's able to do whatever it takes to, to win games. I, um, I've been asked to do a lot of different things throughout my football journey, and um, I'm always eager to learn new things and be able to uh, do whatever the coach is asking me to do, especially when it puts our team in a position to win. I'm a guy that can make people miss um, uh, in the pocket or uh, well down as well as downfield uh, if need be, but I just I really enjoy throwing the ball and be able to spread the ball around to my teammates. and and then being able to celebrate in the end zone with them. And you mentioned celebrating in the end zone, so you have a nice deep end zone to celebrate nice in as well. end zone, yes. <laughs> you gotta get your cellies ready. Yeah. <laughs> well, thank you so much for joining us. We wish you all the best of luck in the coming weeks and months ahead. Stay well. Yeah, thanks, thanks for having me.